Yeah. <clears throat> Man, uh, what are we going to call it? Dropping the B? <laughs> Tell you what, I'm really excited with the response that this wine idea has. Uh, dude, I think... Uh, I almost now I almost wish that we were just doing a regular Diamond Club one so we could call it pretend I'm not here. Uh, no, 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 no. I love this idea, but I, I would like at some point if this is successful that no, it should be. Uh, here's what happens: we make a mint doing this, and then we actually have three beers made, four beers, right? We have a Brian beer, a Justin beer, we have uh, a Diamond Club beer, and then we have pretend I'm not beer, and it could be a cider. Oh yes. Right? Uh, uh, I pretend I'm not beer. Is that the title of the uh, episode? Yeah, I think it's good. That, that's good. For okay. Me. All right. Here we go. <clears throat> this is NSFW episode 169, recorded on a day. Oh, double complete rainbow. This is NSFW episode 169, recorded on March 12th, 2013. Pretend I'm not beer. By the way, the Google Doc is already going. It's in the chat room right now. So, Amazing. Listen, it began with a Google Doc for the Diamond Club. It begins again with Ruin Them. Uh, all right, here we go. On this edition of NSFW Show, we recap South by So Wasted 2... Who won between me and the Ad Dragon? That will be learned as well as our next great caper. Ladies and gentlemen, we begin the hoax that ends the world on this episode of NSFW Show. All right, uh, if you need to bug out, you can. Um, oh. uh, no, I got to do the... Read here. You are the ad bot. I don't believe that was you at all. I mean, it's like Brian, you're, it's totally me, D Justin. You first of all, it can't be because you're not allowed to do the ad reads. We all know I, this. I won fair and square, and there's nothing different about the ad reads I do now versus the ad reads that I did before everything went down. I don't believe you. I don't believe you. you know what? Prove it. Prove it by not getting up and leaving that chair, not getting off camera, and. Show me that that this really is you doing it. All right, here we go. Ah, son of a bitch. Hang on, I screwed something up. All right, go ahead. This episode of NSFW is brought to you by Pond5, the world stock media marketplace. If you're a media maker looking for videos, photos, illustrations, music, sound effects, after effects templates, or 3D models, check out Pond5. And for an exclusive 50 free stock media files, go to pond5.com slash NSFW. Isn't that right, Brian? So you're doing it again. I just feel like it's not a real interaction. This, and I did, my finger slipped and, and I went away for a second. It was just, see, that's not, there's no way a human can stay like that. I, uh... <laughs> Great point. See, I'm not comfortable with this. This is this is there's something weird here. I don't I I'm nothing, Brian, there's nothing wrong. Punch a homeless man in the ball. <laughs> <laughs> See, it's all me. I don't it's, it's, it's just so weird. No, man. Just punch him so hard he gets hurt <laughs> to the point where he has to go to the hospital. <laughs> Boom! Good job! All right, what's the uh, oh? I'm definitely pressing star a lot. Um, hang on, let me. Uh, <laughs> this is unfortunate. Wait a minute. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna see if this works. I'm gonna save this other thing. Hold on. Um, what's the what's the link to the to the edited uh, original clip? Oh, it's uh, uh, I'll put it in the chat two or three times, but it's not HTTP, you know, Bitly. Okay, can you just pop it in there right now? Uh, let me sign back in the chat. Let me sign oh, back. sorry about that. Or if you can. Uh, Did you call it NSFW or something like that? Somebody. Uh, all right, here we go. Let's see. What have we here? 
Noah's alcohol of choice. Okay. What's up, Brian? Awesome. Here we go. This is uh this is uh the full thing right here. And uh I, I don't know if we have another we can play it as well. Here we go. Brr. Boom. All right, actually, Brian, I'm gonna I'm All gonna right. I'm gonna dip out. Get out of here, son. I love you. Have a good day. Thank you so much, everybody. I'll talk to you guys later. Here we go. Bye. Slamming them tonight? You guys are dead in the water. Way to go, Donnie! If you will it, it is no dream. Three minutes late. What the f is that? Theodore Herzl. Huh? State of Israel. If you will it, dude, it is no dream. What the f are you talking about? The carrier. What the f is in the carrier? Huh? Oh, Cynthia's Jedi. <laughs> well, I think it's a Jedi master. Can't leave him home alone or he eats the furniture. I'm watching him while Cynthia and Marty Ackerman are in Hawaii. You brought a f***ing Jedi Master to bowling? <laughs> I want to point out real quick that that's that's uh, that's Demon Five, who was not able to get into the venue because uh, he was like three minutes shy of 21, but hung with us for the entire creation of the video. It was amazing. <laughs> What do you mean brought it bowling? I, I didn't rent it shoes. I'm not buying a beer, dude. It's not taking your f***ing turn. Dude, if my f***ing ex-wife asked me to take care of her fucking Jedi master while they, her and her boyfriend went to Honolulu, i tell her to go to f*** herself. First of all, dude, you don't have an ex. Second of all, this is a f***ing Jedi with a f***ing lightsaber. You can't board it. All of his friends get slaughtered, and he has to go to goddamn Dagobah, and his hair falls Walter, out. Walter, Walter, <laughs> calm. Jedi fing lightsaber over the line! Over the line! Huh? I'm sorry, Smoke, you were over the line. That's foul. Well, market eight, dude. Excuse me. Market zero. Next frame. Well, shit, Walter. Market eight, dude. Okay, this is not tattooing. There are rules. Market zero. <laughs> it's, hey, man, it's Smokey. Yeah, so it's totally slipped over the line. By the way, that's lip. definitely not. Definitely not Petey Rave reading the script between his legs right there. Yeah, so it's totally slipped over the line a little. It's just a game, man. This is a league game. It determines who manners the Jedi Council. Am I wrong? Yeah, but I wasn't Am over. I wrong? Am I wrong? Yeah, but I wasn't Am over. I wrong? Yeah, but I wasn't over. Give me the marker, dude. I'm marking it Nate. Smokey, my friend, you are entering a world of pain. Walter. You mark that frame, Nate. You are entering a world of pain. I'm not- A world of pain! <laughs> Look, dude, this is your partner. Has the whole world gone crazy? <laughs> you mark that frame! Bro, the f***ing nunchucks. Has the whole world gone crazy? <laughs> Mario! That is my favorite part of the entire clip. <laughs> that is my favorite part of the entire clip. Just chasing their being naked in the nunchucks. The one around here gives a shit about the rules! Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Can't believe it, bro. Uh, is that that's that's, that's a Zach, Zach Holder? Zach, Zach, Zach Holder. just won the belt. Congratulations, Zach. Zach. Guess who just won the Zach? <laughs> Tell me that. Wait, was that intentional? Yes, was. You son of a bitch. <laughs> that's such a thing for you to do. You're an asshole, is what you are. Oh, oh my god! Zach. Amazing. Zach won the belt. We're calling the cops, man. Put the piece away. <laughs> you ain't got around here. Fucking zero. All right, it's f***ing zero. Are you happy, you crazy f***? It's a league game, Smokey. <laughs> Dude, uh, all of that edited by DJZ, Lonely.Geek, uh, ZachHolder.com. Oh, is something up at HireZachHolder.com? Hire no. Zach. Hold on, Zach. I, um, I can't. Okay, there's beer on my keyboard, so every time I type a... Uh, check this out. Every time I type Z... Uh, an X shows up, oh, so wow. there's that. I'll just do. I'll delete that, and then I'll delete that. There you go. Z uh, not Zass. <laughs> Zachholder dot com. Who else has it? I don't know. Does somebody? Yeah. What is the tech stock? There's what? Seven. Did somebody steal it? No, they've had since. According to this, since two thousand seven. No, that can't. Wait a minute. Blog, gadget, podcast, Jesuits. 
Well, I don't know. Whoever, whoever could this be? Oh. I'm just hoping this person, whoever it is, is uh, the real reason why the Star Wars prequels sucked. Uh, I'm just saying, oh, look at that. Oh, who's here? I don't know. Maybe uh, maybe put a little plug for Zach Holder, the guy who, who we mentioned on there. Here's a nutty idea. Man, is you are the troll pope, Padre SJ. Yep. By the way, Padre, I went back and I watched um uh I watched our episode together. It was really fun hanging out. Um oh good. Tom says he'll join us. Let me let me jump on. He says I'm Skype, which I assume means he's on Skype. So I'm gonna I hope do so. Yeah. Oh, oh I I can't type oh, his no. name. You know what? see what Padre said? I'm what? ready. I need the chat realm to give me Zach Holder content. <laughs> This could be bad, Brian. No, it'd be good. <laughs> you awesome. give some mashups, make some awesome stuff happen. Are you kidding me? Totally. Everything would be great. The good and bad of, our, uh, of the power of, of our chat. Room. Guess what, sucker? Now you're on the freaking chopping block. I so, know. so take that. How you like it now? Uh, oh <laughs> damn. Uh, <laughs> Padre, if, if you if you can help me get a job, it's totally worth it. That's there you all go. I'm saying. Yeah. It's good for everyone. Oh, I, I can't type this. Uh oh! Uh oh! Caller, turn, call turn down your radio. I have become Skype destroyer <laughs> of internet. Uh, dude, did you just bust out that thing out of nowhere? That was amazing. Yeah, I did it while you guys were doing the ad read. Uh, what do you think of our? Hey, I'm not getting anything from you. This is what I got. I got your, your, your darkness. Yeah, I see that. Is there yeah. something wrong with Skype? Uh, I mean. Certainly, there. There's. Eileen problems. was having this problem at my house. I mean, you look great. Right. What's and weird is it's not like we're not receiving something. It's it's just that you're sending us. <laughs> oh, this is diff this is a different problem. Because you're black. I, I I forgot that. Uh, yeah. Hold on. Oh, Hold on. This just is give me a second. This is yeah. a side of Tom we don't usually get to see. What's going on? Just give me a. Well, well, there we go. <laughs> did somebody do something? <laughs> I forgot I put a post it over the camera because I haven't used this thing in so long. That was amazing. That was amazing. <laughs> the big reveal. <laughs> what a twist. Uh hey the man. Twist. So so do you dig this uh this idea for our next project? Uh yeah. Yeah, no, I was obviously inspired uh, uh, by it. When you guys were starting talking about, like, the wine that brought down ancient societies, that just got my brain warned. Well, it, and it definitely has the benefit of, like, at the end of the day, uh, it's still a wine that is 20% alcohol. So there's that going for it, no matter what. Yeah. Uh, dude, now, it, it, it would be good to work in some of that uh, that kind of attitude to it. But get sacked. Oh, I you, pass that up. Ah, uh, Dude, get sacked is... Amazing. Um, I, I'm seeing, uh, you know, the the ads of like, you know, the raging hordes pillaging with bottles with the branding, you know, clearly visible uh, <laughs> as they walk through the streets. I can see that. Uh, let yeah. me see. I'm I'm looking at um, the comic book. That uh, tell us about the Kickstarter that you're doing right. Oh now. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so Len Peralta had this idea uh, for a comic book, and we kind of worked the story out together. And I wrote wrote some lines. Uh, and he made some amazing art. Uh, and uh, I think we've got a, a nice little story there. So we're trying to, Len's actually a freelance artist and, and things are dry right now. So he's trying all these different Kickstarter programs. Uh, and I'm, I'm pleased that he wanted to work with me and I'm having a lot of fun on it. So it's, uh, I've got it up at TomMerritt.com. He's got it up at LenPeralta.com. But if you just search for 10 state, uh, the whole idea with it is that it's uh, going to be a story about these people who think they're on a reality show. And the reality show is based on, like, the divisions in America, and they have a representative sample of 10 people that will represent all walks of life. And they get shut into this biodome, and they'll be on every week to see if they can get along. And then as soon as they get shut in and the show's supposed to start, there's a catastrophe. Oh, no. So what started as a joke becomes the actual thing. Now, do they realize right away that, that, uh, that this is not – uh, not a joke, or are they still playing it up for like the camera? No, at the end of the teaser, you don't even know. Hold on, Justin's calling me. Oh, well, Justin. Oh, somebody. Hey, I'm pitching my comic book. What's up? Yeah, way to way to introduce. His mess up is just killing me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
No, I want to talk. I want to talk about that. Uh, right. Call me. I'll call you back maybe before this you play. This is TD off. Rave with your FSL offseason report. With every new season of the FSL, there are teams eagerly vying to be elevated into the big leagues, but not every team can make the cut. Here are some franchises with strong chances this year. Characterized by their positive attitudes and their can-do spirit, the Candy Kingdom Royals could prove to be a formidable team if they make it to the majors. They have smart, even-handed leadership from their player coach Bonneville Bubblegum, and star player Finn has the energy and enthusiasm, if not the experience, to lead his team into victory alongside his close friend and trusted teammate Jake. Their wild card would come in the form of Marceline, whose behavior has ranged from with- I can't understand. I love you, Petey Rave, but I have no idea what words you're saying. This is- <laughs> It's a, uh, then you may not be right for backing FSL tonight. I, I, I'll, I'll get, well, I, I think what he's trying to say is that uh, he's, he's pointing out that uh, you also have another she Kickstarter the she's coming out. Have- uh, but uh, this comic book thing, what's your goal on it? Well, let me let me pop this open. Uh, I can't remember exactly what this 11 is. Grand. Uh, we can make it yeah, 11 grand. Yeah, 11,350 for, for three issues. All right. Uh, if we have we have some stretch goals to do up to ten issues in the first season of the book. I'll tell you uh, what, we're about twenty five hundred there. And right you guys, do, you do not have your Kickstarter for uh for for the FSL up yet. No, that goes up on Thursday. Okay. Do you do you want to reveal what your goal is on that or or well? It'll be five thousand. Yeah, five thousand. So yeah, I mean. Yeah. How much does it take for two guys to talk and make up the sports? It, it seems to be the going rate. That's what we did for autopilot. Uh-huh. And so when we hit 5,000, we're like, oh, well, if we get 10,000, we'll do two seasons of autopilot. And we got 10,000, so we did Dude. We're gonna do two seasons. Did, um, did, did, uh, did you get a chance? I, I saw Jeff Kanata was on the show today on Tech News Today, right? Yeah. It, I am so very, very ex- – oh, my – Oh, you got HireZach.com? HireZach.com. All right, HireZach. Forget HireZach Holder. Apparently some unscrupulous domain squatter has already taken it and put Jesuit propaganda on it. Mm-hmm. Instead, just go to HireZach.com. Well, well, now, hold a minute. Hold a minute. Let's let's read the tea leaves here, Brian. Yeah. Does this mean Zach will be the next pope? Uh, He's I being can, hired. I cannot confirm or deny any precise knowledge about that i'm sorry there are limitations there's there's law there's laws and problems uh, well let's see hold on let's go wait wait what what is something going on what's going on what kind of cheap ass hotel doesn't have envelopes near near you so you can have a cheap prop to pretend like you have something that you don't hey wait a minute somebody just (laughs) sent over uh vincent 404 the host of my so-called 8-bit uh uh life uh, this is your Indiegogo over yeah, here? Yeah, yeah, I have one too. Okay. It turns out like everyone's funding on the same week and weekends. Oh, crap. I know, I hate that. Yeah. You know, it's all, this is all, all it always gives. There actually was a uh, a panel there at South By where they had a whole bunch of people coming in to do a pitch fest there at, um, I guess it was at the, yeah. uh, the, uh, the Hilton Garden Inn. And like everybody's pitching up a film, a product, or something, so it's it's just going to happen. Okay, again. now uh, I, I'm going to say what everyone else will say when they go here. Um, I'm gonna raise an eyebrow at your goal of fifty three thousand. I realize it's a hard it's a hard goal. I realize that, but but um, this is also flexible funding, right? Yes, exactly. So it's like you'll get something. Everything exactly, will actually yeah. go to you. Yeah, okay. exactly. That's so right. uh, real quick, pitch us on your vision for this. What 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 is what is uh, CosmicRadio.tv? Uh, essentially, it's uh, my uh, production studio slash podcast network idea. It's not just simply my own content. It's actually a lot of chat roamers content kind of coming along. Um, for example, one of the shows I'm working on, Retro Fun Time, is with uh, Matthew Fraser, a.k.a. Blender MF. And some of you guys might know him ter- in terms of Sure, of course. Here. Yeah, it's fantastic. Uh, but the idea behind it is since I've kind of gotten this sort of serious mode of you know content creation, whether it be my podcast or everything else, that – I know to do it the way I need to do it, I need to dedicate more than just simply part time or a portion of my time. I need to dedicate the entire time. And so, is that is that what what is the number fifty three zero eight eight? The number in, the number and that's very what weird number. The reason why it's weird is because it includes not only just um, the startup for an LLC and the amount of equipment it's going to cost, but also living expenses. The idea of, of you know just going in this. I was always told by you, Brian, that when you got in this whole sort of magic industry, sort sure. of thing, that you had Bonnie to help you out. You had the, uh, you know, take a year off. So you're asking to marry the internet. Essentially, like, essentially. Marry, the, oh, internet, why don't you, will you will you keep me afloat for a little well, bit? Well, essentially, because you always- Did you always, ask VidSurf's approval before this? Uh, from maybe not the, yet, but maybe I should, Tom. But essentially, since, you know, everybody I've known that's done it, either be you, Brian, or even uh, Cargill, 
they've always had somebody else to help them out at that point to say, okay, look, I can spin this up in a year, but if I, you know, I need to dedicate all the time on it. I don't have that kind of person on my side. So sure. I'm going to try to, you know, throw myself into the internet and hope, hope to God I get to, you know, ride the crowd all the way to Valhalla and, and happiness. Right on, man. So what do you envision uh, in the Cosmic Radio TV's uh, core core brand? Well, the core brand would be something along the lines of, of geek-related content. I know it's kind of a vague sentence, but I don't want to get pigeonholed in terms of having to do one type of content, um, mainly because I have a lot of ideas in terms of radio plays, in terms of podcasts, uh, video content. I do have an idea for a kind of fictionalized version, almost an MST3K meets indie games, and it's kind of hard to, to comprehend. I'm not still working on the script, to be honest. But I want to make a site that not only benefits me in terms of my own produced content and everything else, but also brings in other kind of third-party trusted content. I know Bill Meeks had some great ideas for the show. Even John Tilton kind of had some ideas for the network. Uh, Bryce in the chat room has had some really, really amazing ideas. And I kind of want to make that sort of loose collective of People. Loose change? What? <laughs> no, like I, I, the way I always envision it is kind of like a um, like a fleet. Um, but the idea is that uh, anyone can kind of come on and ride as long as they'd like, or ride ride forever in, in terms of that. We all kind of just you know band together in order to make the best content out there. Right on, uh, Tom. Ryan, what? Uh, so uh, what do you say to that, sir? Where are you? I um, I'm in San Rafael at the hotel. Oh, were you live in studio today? Yeah, I was up shooting the last three sword and lasers. The last three sword and lasers. That breaks my heart, man. I didn't realize it was going away. Did it get all... Uh, it, and it, well, this is just... The last three video sword and lasers yes. on the Geek and Sundry Network. We actually had a nice little dinner oh, afterwards where we hatched some plans uh, for doing another season of sword and laser video that would be all our own. Well, and uh, you, so the thing would be there'd be no restrictions and stuff. Uh, but for uh, now, that's that's the end of our season on Geek and Sunday. Yeah, and, and and you guys got to see a a very significant jump in um, production quality as a result of the some of that some of that YouTube channel money, the partner money that, oh. that they had put out. There. <laughs> yeah. And so you you had no expectation that that you were employed by Google or that this was a steady gig forever or whatever. This was a project, yeah. and the, and no, you knew it, there would be this winners. Was actually, I mean. Uh, if I have the chain right, Google, uh, through YouTube, gave money to Talus Productions, who funded Geek and Sundry, who then gave us a portion of the money to Sword and Laser LLC, who then contracted Pixel Core <laughs> <laughs> to produce the show. Right, but, but but I guess the point was is uh, this is not. I guess the game is different. Like, like this was yeah. experimental money to begin with. And there were some I, experiments. That, yeah. that, yeah, I've that, never been involved in one of these big, long chains like that before. Yes, yes, exactly. But, uh, but, but it by no means is a, uh, is a referendum on the quality of the, or, or the popularity of Sword and Laser because you guys went, always. Yes, it, I mean, we were not as nearly as popular as Tabletop or The Flog, you know, the shows by Felicia and Will mm -hmm. uh, on, on, this, on the same token it's probably some of the more popular stuff that Veronica and I have ever done. Uh, so it's, you know, it depends on where you're sitting, how, how good those shows did. And Sword and Laser is not even the most popular thing that, that Veronica and I have ever done. Right. Uh, but it was more about community for us. It's always been that it's always been about like creating a good audience, not a big audience. Uh, and if, and if you want a big audience, you do things differently. Uh, but I wouldn't have traded this this season for the world. I mean, the, we learned so much. We got that set, which we would never have known how to go about getting. We wouldn't have, to have had the money to go and get that set built. Now we've got it. We've got a chance to do a lot of stuff. So this was a huge leg up for us in learning how to do this kind of video. Where are all the pieces of the set going to stick around? For now, they're just going to stay in the Pixel Core studio because they're kind of in a nice area uh, where where they're not in the way much. Uh, I was still waiting for Alex Lindsay to decide whether he really wants to leave them there, which I don't think he will unless we're going to use it again. Mm -hmm. uh, or if maybe we decide to start using it again soon enough, he will leave it there. If not, we'll probably we'll probably store it. Uh, I'll Looks probably talk amazing. to Fonco, the folks that made it. Man, you guys, uh, you guys knocked it out of the park on the way that set looks. It looks amazing. Uh, Fonco. It's all Fonco. They did a Fantastic job. A fantastic job? Yeah, that's me saying things. <laughs> <laughs>
that's gonna be my response to next time I get busted like in in a white lie. I'm just like, I'm like, oh, sweetie, that's just me saying. That's just me saying. Those are just words coming out of my mouth. Come on, well, girl. That's just just my well, lips flapping. Give, give, honey. give me a hug, sweetie. What's going on? <laughs> you look good. You look nice. Did you cut your hair. Although I, uh, uh, although as soon as I I said that as a joke, but like um, uh, uh like I've never. I've never lied to Bonnie ever, uh, and as I, I'm, I'm fond of pointing out, there's a lot of times I, I really hope she won't ask me a question, uh, but, but never. Uh, I figure it's like it's always like you know I'd rather do my time in the doghouse than uh, than be than be a uh, liar and then get busted on it later. Um, high, high frame rate, I'm telling you, dude. Okay, can we talk about high frame rate? Because <laughs> this is a good enough idea. That while Bonnie is asleep downstairs with my infant <laughs> daughter, I kind of want to plan this. We could do twist first time on her HFR podcast and have it all be above you know, board. You know what? If we get uh, the right people on board, we could probably get a hold of a red camera. Oh, <laughs> so they'll see. They'll see clearly. There's something different about this episode. The moment they go to see our first ever episode, our first high frame rate episode, they'll they they'll see that clearly something's not the same. It is, in fact, a high frame rate. Yeah. Uh, those who don't understand, the idea is to do a show called High Frame Rate, where uh, Brian and I will both be in Denver. Colorado. Which is very mile. high wow. up off the ground. It's very, right. very high. Uh, and as happens when you're when you're a mile or so above sea level, you get hungry. You get hungry and easily distracted and maybe and- have a hard time remembering what you were talking about. What? Exactly. Maybe, you know, I understand a side effect of being at, at that, te- that altitude is that your eyes get bloodshot mm-hmm. and that you... you uh, yeah. Happen well if you're not used to it. Yeah, that can definitely happen. <laughs> that's what I that's what I hear. So anyway, we'd like to finally take uh take frame rate a mile high and do high frame rate. On a red camera. Now okay, now is there a particular reason is there a particular reason that we should do it in like Denver, Colorado, as opposed to like, you know, Utah? Because Utah's pretty high up. No, there. no. I Denver's just the most famous you know, Rocky Mountain High. It's known as, but, but yeah, no. I mean, as long as, it's a, as long as it's at elevation, the jokes, the joke remains. Yeah, no, that's a good point. Uh, although, you know, it, it, if you think about it, like we would be in a more convenient location when we're both at Nerdtacular, but but for some reason, it still doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel. Hold on, I think we're about to get in trouble. <laughs> this is a terrible idea. All of a sudden. <laughs> Because I feel like social pressure is about to. <laughs> um, yeah. All right. So there's that. Um, I don't know. I want Scott has scheduled at four twenty. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We should find out. We should find out if if Did anything's you see scheduled. A note from Padre? What's that? See a note from Padre? No. What's the pod note from Padre say? Um, I'll tell you, you're just gonna burn a few and get back out of your skulls. That's what I do when I'm in Denver. Also. You know, some marijuana it takes two minute appointment about fifty bucks. Two minute appointment fifty bucks. Wow, I don't know what would what would that have to do with anything? That's a little I weird. Don't know. Yeah, get the URL. It's, 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 you get the URL. <laughs> also, some Cheetos. <laughs> <laughs> I'm now entering PadreIsHigh.com. <laughs> Zach's grabbing PadreIsHigh.com. <laughs> Sandstorm says, "Whoa, whoa, whoa! Who said anything about marijuana?" <laughs> Wait, yeah, nobody brought that up. Yeah, man, come on, man. Two minutes and fifty. <laughs> uh, that would be a thing. Um, hey, uh, so you head back home tomorrow, right? Yeah, I'll be doing TNT in the studio tomorrow morning, and then uh, flying back. Awesome. To LA. Oh, you know what? I realize. Hold on, stop. Yeah, you, yeah, you haven't encoded it, have you? Yeah, I haven't encoded. I think it might have cut off at the end. We might have to switch to a lower quality uh, feed, unfortunately. So, you know, well, I, what I want people to do uh, is give a little money to Jeff Kanata, a little money to Zach, a little money to Len to feed his 1,300 children, and a little money uh, to uh, me and Justin for FSL tonight. You need to start your own Kickstarter to fund that. Like a meta, a meta Kickstarter, that's fine. Just spread the love around. That's a good point. 
Not beer. I can't. Uh, there's beer all over my <laughs> um, my keyboard right now, so all my keys. Yeah, just straight. pretend it's not beer. I know. <laughs> you have no idea how much. Um, what a fan I am of our friendship, Tom, and like how much it means oh, to me thanks. that you pipe in and uh, and actually watch. Well, you you don't know how much it means to me that I can make like a stupid thirty second MP three and email it to you and you'll play it on your show. That's are you kidding, awesome. man? No, that was good. That was good content. Son of a gun! I just screwed everything up. I just recorded as a WMV. Now I got to translate it over, uh, and then instead of clicking save again for a uh, oh, it's Vincent with the Indiegogo, not Zach. Yes. Yeah. We'll hire yeah. back and give Vincent money on Kickstarter. See, I like your style. Or go. just give me money. I'm good with that. Brian, do we even need the <laughs> um, your recording? Sorry, confusion. Um, it I would mean, my, be higher. Yeah. Uh, quality. Well, I'll, I'll tell you what. I will. Um. Uh. Should I should I change it to a, an <laughs> MOV or should I just send you the WMV file? Uh. It's the it's the first fifty minutes of it is all local higher quality. Um. The WMV is going to be like. So how many gigs is it going to be? Same, same. They, they, they record it the same. You sure? Okay. Yeah, uh, well, here. I can look at the file right now. Let yeah, me, just let me yeah. know. Mm. Um, NSFW, not beer. <laughs> oh, crap. Adragon was going to hire Vincent and kickstart Zach now. now uh, yeah, 826 megs. So Curse you, Tom Aaron. Yeah, I go ahead and send it. Okay. I mean, I don't know. You know, I, I'm Let's, I'm not Tony. <laughs> All right, it happens. To Look, I mean, uh, we right. promised it wouldn't get weird, Jason, and it's already feeling weird. I don't know. Maybe it, it was a mistake. Oh God, it's that was a mind. No meter style. So you're in and that's the only thing. We're and it implies call it Blackwater. No, because times on this show. I think I think what happens is I think this is the moment you can clearly see that I spill the beer on the keyboard, and that's what stops. That's what stops the recording. Ah, uh, mother's bomb. Dude, possible. Uh, is there anyone who wants to share with us who our fabulous sponsors are? He I says. don't. I don't have that. We have anymore. Oh, is that, is that the only one? Do we only have one sponsor today? Yeah. All right. Well, then forget it. Here's the moment. Uh, this is brought to you by Shenanigans Inc. That's right. Your place and mine for an awesome way to cause up trouble. Huh. Uh, What's that jumping? Is that? Much. Why don't we do a greatest hits on, of all our it. best spots? Wait for us. <laughs> you know, sure. what's, you know, what's great is uh, good old Net Square Flix Pond uh, Mail uh, Ibble Odd. Oh, wait for it! Wait for it! Man About to pack. tip it in three, oh, man two, packs. yeah, one. Don't forget man. Did you packs. get your man pack yet? No, I needed to pick it. I'm a terrible person. And I got mine yesterday, and I'll save the rest of it. That was a good I countdown, Brian. Damn, All right, work. I bet you're excited. Thank you very much, <laughs> Nutspace, and to uh, apparently, man, I don't know why it ended right there. That's a weird place for it to end. Well, I mean, you did short out your your keyboard to a certain degree. Well, all right, it's probably because okay. you said Nutspace. Yeah, I'm Nutspace. Yeah, are like that's enough. Uh, so I'll send the first part. But you have the rest, right, Chad? Right. Beautiful. I mean, and you're in pretty high quality. You're sending pretty high quality to us. I thank you. It's very kind of you to say. You're welcome. Uh, all right, so I'll, oh, dude, you guys are gonna make me take a sip of this bacon soda. Look at this. Yes. Oh, don't, oh, don't worry. You're not gonna be alone. This abomination. Here, uh, bacon. Does soda. it actually have bacon in it? Is it floating in it? it smells dude, like, no, it, it, okay. it smells like bacon. bacon. If it you does. saw in the pre-show, it was brutal. Um, oh, uh, yes. Uh, people are asking again how long the doghouse promotion. This is a perpetual thing. Doghouse Systems made possible. The current quality of production that that comes out of this studio. So forever, promo code Schwood S H W O O D, uh, Doghouse Studios. Uh, you can get the Max Troll Box on there. Cheers, Jesus, evil. Here we go. Is... Oh God, God, God! You gotta drink it. Drink, drink, drink. Yeah, yeah. It's it's, it's wonky. It does. It's 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 it smells. Like leprechaun butts. It's it's <laughs> like okay. like it. I know what that smells like. It, it smells is. like rusty golden coins. Okay. Like it have been down someone's like bacon, pants. But, it like tastes like bacon, but not like like no. like old bacon. Like no, there's nothing bacony does it, does about it finish this. Finish with a hint mold? Of bacon. It's like it's it's got a we. Uh, it's right. got a hint of bacon. I'm, I'm gonna no no. I'm gonna call it. There's you're no longer allowed to call. Just slap the word bacon on something and sell a billion of it. To the internet, all right? This is 
clearly hobo ass soda. Okay, and then you know you don't give me a hobo ass soda and just put the word bacon on it and expect me to. Apparently, the guy has made a wing sauce version of this soda as well. Oh my god, it's so terrible. And yet you drink more of it. I want to give it a chance. <laughs> no, you can't give it a chance. You have to. You have to abandon it right away. The minute you give it a chance, that's when you actually start, you know, oh, well, really tasting I think it. That's the best purchase I made this trip. Oh, it definitely I'm was. Physically in pain. <laughs> Tom, look into a bottle. Please, I feel left out. <laughs> oh my god! I would god. love to drink something that tastes like old rusty coins. <laughs> <laughs> he also apparently makes a sweet corn uh, soda as well. Oh my god, it's terrible. Yeah, I. And this I'm, is the worst thing I've ever experienced. This is, I'm pretty sure this is worse than Bonnie's experience of giving birth <laughs> for her. Okay. Okay. That's been said. Oh, wow. Dude, I got major lag for you, I Tom. thought she disagrees with you. Does she? Is she watching? Mm -hmm. She's right here. Mm -hmm. Wait, <laughs> what? My wife? Oh, it's even worse for me. Oh, dude, I did not want. Okay. Oh. Like, all right. Look, uh, I guess we'll go ahead and, and shut this down. Oh, my God. He is so ah. Oh. Oh. All right. Hey, do you want to break down a music video with me, Tom? Oh, is that what we're doing? All right. Uh, here we go. Oh. What do we got? Nice. Uh, how about a little? Uh... Brian. Wait, what's happening? Oh my God! How fast? Send me a link to that. How fast did that happen? It's in the chat right now. Uh, where? Birdie, birdie. Uh... Oh man! See, look at this. Already, somebody's put. It's all of a sudden. It's Brian Brushing in the ad bot. That's not. There's no way. Yep. It's a really That's ad bot. Look at it. He does have that distant kind of glazed yeah. over. I don't think. Yeah, very uh, Max Headroom like. I mean, I. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Next next episode, like I'm gonna watch. I'm gonna watch and make sure. Make sure he that it's the him the whole time. Well, because we always. I mean, it was my fault. I poured beer, and then it went over and away, yeah. and then Stepford Wives. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Holy cow. I could already tell I love this. Wow. Well, that gives the radio station plenty of time. <laughs> oh, you know what? I forgot about that. That's probably a structural sure. thing. Yeah, People, yeah. The, the radio stations wanted long fade outs right, so that, that they, could, they could talk over yeah, it. Talk about traffic and weather together coming up on the five. Exactly. What if I'm not the cat? Hey. Or have enough time to crossfade. You can uh, make stocks. Top <laughs> stocks. Uh, Roto points out you can reconnect the Skype call before the fade out completes. <laughs> That's true, actually. I don't uh, know why I got dumped. Uh, yeah, man. Uh, it's a little it's bit spotty. Can... That hotel, uh, I had really bad internet once for and uh, called, and uh, eventually somebody noticed my log or my name in the log sheets and was like, That's Brian Brushwood complaining and like fixed it. And it was kind of rad. So if you're having yeah, wait, no, it's, it's it's actually not bad. It's improved uh, since January, frankly. But it's just every once in a while because it's Wi-Fi. I think more than anything, it just kind yeah. of goes poof. Yeah. All right. Well, look, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and shut down this feed. I gotta get these hobos out of my house, uh, except for the ones who are staying. And um, uh, thanks for hanging out, Tom. I'm glad you called in. Yeah. No problem. That was fun. Thanks for calling me. All right. Bye, hey, uh, hold, guys. Hold on. Uh, just. Just hold on here. All right. There we go. <laughs> All right. I'm, much, I'm much secure. Better. It's good. Nicely done, sir. Nicely right. done. <laughs> Don't forget, work on the Google Doc. Let's make uh, Rotom a phenomenon. Bye, guys. Yes, definitely. Bye.